Hey everybody, welcome to another model building workshop. And today we're going to be talking about the Japanese Type 61 tank with the 90 millimeter gun. This is the old Tamiya kit, or Tamiya, I'm never sure how to pronounce that. And I picked this up at a local hobby shop a little while ago, six, six bucks. So this is the original version from the 1970s. And this has been reissued. I think the last reissue for this was in 93, I believe. That's what I saw online. So, this is the first uh, tank the Japanese Army or, or Japanese government was able to build uh, post World War II. So, let's take a look at the kit. So, this is a typical. <laughs> As the box goes flying. <laughs> that was supposed to be a graceful deployment to the floor. It didn't work very well. All right, so anyway, here is the kit. Pretty much finished. I just have to put the uh, 50 caliber machine gun on top. I left it off because I didn't want to risk uh, damaging it during the video here. And uh, so here it is. In all its glory, pros and cons. So, actually, I'm knocking things all over the place here. Anyway, so... This is the kit. Now, I do not have the top and bottom of the hull put together yet, and I'm going to show you why in a moment. The original 1970 boxing of this kit had it in an overall green with some decals, and I decided to opt for a better paint job, which is more... Uh, of the re the reboxing of this kit, so I added a camouflage version instead. So there are some issues. Um, I think you'll notice where these railings here fit onto the turret. There are some holes there, and my solution to this is I'm just going to put some storage on here, and I have some. You know, types of stuff like that to put on these different types of bedroll types of things. I know that's a really cheap solution, but that's what I'm going to do. Because after all, this was a $6 model kit. I built it for just for the heck of it, for fun. Um, so why not, right? And it's got pros and cons. The pros are this it looks pretty cool. And it went together really well. So it's a fun model. Uh the detail is is not too bad. There are some things that could be improved upon. Uh one of the problems that the Tamiya, these old kits, had, and it's the same with the uh World War II Japanese tanks, is they, they have a tendency to make these um the muffler and the grill that goes over the muffle into one piece instead of having it a, a mesh. And, uh, you know, they didn't have photo etch back then, so. But these are things you could probably uh, take care of. I'm gonna assume that the, the reissue, well, maybe not the reissue. Let me back this up. Because <laughs> Fine Molds has recently, within like the last five years maybe, has uh, issued their version of the Type 61 battle tank. And I'm going to guess that with you know today's technology, especially with fine molds and, and their um, molding abilities, that they probably have found a solution to that by adding a, uh, a photo etch piece, I'm guessing, uh, or some type of a way of replicating that mesh. So there are probably other ways you can get around or, or build this this kit with more detail is what I'm getting at in a very long-winded way. <laughs> My apologies. It's been a long day. Um, so there are some issues with this and that. I noticed there's an awful lot of play in the rubber band tracks here. So I'm going to have to work on getting those on tighter one way or another. I don't know if the reissue that Tamiya did has length and length or not. I'm going to guess it's probably still rubber band, but that's something that, that could be of interest there. 
So I left this off uh, unglued so that we could see inside this. Interesting, because now it actually wants to stay on pretty good. There we go. Because this 1970 version kit still has the uh, the parts for the motorized version. I opted, of course, not to put the motor in for a number of reasons. Uh, I'm not really into the motorized stuff anyway. Oh, it even says right in here, made in Japan, 1970. It's stamped right in there. Uh, but the motor is here if you're so inclined, if you can find these older older kits. I don't know how easy it is to come by these at this point, to be honest, I didn't really look. But it had the motor and you know the plate to hold the batteries. I'm not sure how well this thing worked back in the day when you had these things going. But if you find one of these old ones, that possibility exists. And that's probably why there's some play in these tracks, because if they're going to make them operable, you'd want, you know, you'd want to be able to, it to move and do whatever. I remember having a motorized kit of, I think it was a T3485, I forgot who the manufacturer was. And it was fun for a while, you know, it's kind of cool as a kid, but... <laughs> There's better stuff out there if you can do motorized at this point. Um, yeah, so I just have the, uh, like I said, I just have the 50 cal machine gun. It does give you a crew. They're kind of rudimentary, so I didn't really bother doing them. The detail's not very good. I mean, it's okay. I mean, these are really older Tamiya kits. So, eh, I just decided to button it up instead and go that route with it. But I can show you, it's the 2021 catalog here, if I can find her now, yeah. So here's the newer version, or the newer boxing of the Type 61 there. And of course, they've got some other Japanese tanks that they've done of the modern period. If I can find it. But uh, I know they've got the Type 74. And that one had been reissued also. Yeah, here it is. They had done a, another version of the Type 74 for the winter version, which is there. Of course, you don't have to do the winter version with that kit, but it but it does include options for that. And then they've got the, uh, I guess the Type 90, which is the newer or latest Japanese tank. Yeah, and here's one here that, with a mine roller, which is kind of nice. If you can see that on the bottom there. So anyway, there's a quick look at this old kit, which, as you can see, still offers Still offers, uh, well, some fun. Not bad for the price. That's six bucks at a, you know, kind of a clearance shelf. <laughs> so, anyway, that's today's episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to subscribe and like these uh, videos and keep watching for new material. We try to do one every week. And, uh, yeah, that's today's adventure. And we'll see you next time. Take care and keep building. Okay, bye.